A new patch was dropped and it introduced new scarabs with a similar theme. The Eternal Conflict Legion scarab got updated to, you know, have increased difficulty but also have increased rewards for each time they're broken out. I ran 100 of these at the start of the league, so I'm running another 10 right now and I'm comparing them to 10 of the old one to see just how substantial the increased reward is. I will say the increased difficulty. I barely felt it, so I don't think it's that big a deal, especially with Headhunter. And if you are running this Gadab, you're going to need a Headhunter. So, yeah, anyway, here's the loot table. This is pre buff, this is post buff. I will say I'm not comparing the money made, I'm comparing the drops because, you know, the economy changes and what was worth something back then is probably worth nothing nowadays. So, Incubator is 144 to 162, Emblems 47 to 42. Stack decks 107 to 83. I do not ble believe that Legion specific drops are affected by this new buff. I, you you know you're you're gonna get, be getting the same amount of incubators, emblems, and stack decks now as you were if you were farming it yesterday. I'm pretty confident in saying that. What I'm also confident in saying is that it does substantially buff you know non-legion specific drops from the legions scarabs maps dev cards you can see 135 to 212 scarabs 10 favorited maps to 23 two fortunate dev cards to six that's a substantial increase however do i think the eternal conflict scarab is worth running with the fact that you need to increase the duration to get the maximum amount out of it and knowing that that only affects you know maps garabs and dev cards i don't you're going to be spending seven minutes on a map i'd imagine you're going to be making more dev per hour if you just ran three legion scarabs and legion scarab of officers i i know you'd be mo making more because i ran it myself so i do think these new scarabs and it's the same for breach i think it's increased difficulty and reward for each time you open a breach I think that one's going to be absolutely insane. You know, you, you stack as many breaches on your map and you just go to town, hopefully farming fortunate dev cards. It's going to be crazy, but specifically for the Legion Scarab of Eternal Conflict, it's nice. It's nice to get more maps, more dev cards, all that. And it is a nice, you know, boost to loot. But I don't think it, you know, makes the Scarab. I think it just, you know, the Scarab hasn't really shifted much on the on the peck in order so there we are that's the results from that i'm probably going to test out all the other ones abyss breach blight and whatever was added just because i already have the comparison since i have ran you know a hundred of all those mechanics just to make sure that it doesn't affect those mechanic drops too i don't want to assume just because this doesn't affect legion drops that you know, the Blight one won't affect how many oils you get. But if I had to imagine, it would probably only affect the loot explosion at the end, which might be good if it affects jewelry, but I think um, quantity and stuff doesn't affect jewelry. Anyway, I'm rambling. Hope you enjoyed.